Hey everyone, welcome to this new series I'm going to be starting. I have been trying to beat the game with the Lost, and as you can tell by my win streak, I haven't been very successful. Uh, but this is a game where, you know, kind of funny things tend to happen when you play it, so I figured I'd start recording a run here and there. And see what happens, kind of document my progress with this character. Uh, so if you're totally unfamiliar with this game, um, most characters you know, they have health, they go through and you try to get to the very end. Uh, it progresses uh, floor by floor. Uh, there's a boss on every floor and an item on most floors. Uh, the thing about the Lost, though, is he has no health. He will die in one hit, uh, except for very rare circumstances if you find certain items. Uh, so needless to say, it's it's very difficult uh, to get through the game without, without getting hit. I've beaten Mom once, and then subsequently died in the womb, uh, which was unfortunate. Um, but it's, you know, it's it's actually very common to have a run not progress anywhere past the, uh, the basement or the cellar. Because uh, it's, you know, you just take damage. All th almost did right there. All throughout the game. Hey, money. I'm good. Wow, I have enough to visit the shop already. I'm going to go ahead and go quick to the boss because, you know, uh, there's certain bosses that can just pretty much un end your run because it's hard to not get hit by them. Uh, namely, in the first couple floors, the Haunt is a very annoying boss. And uh, the Girdlings can be kind of unpredictable just because, you know, when you shoot them when they're charging, you can kind of, uh... You can kind of influence their direction in a, uh, Not very good way. It's kind of annoying. They can just kind of change course and run right into you as you're shooting them. The Monstro is a very, very simple, straightforward boss. Uh, I don't know if I've ever actually died to him as a lost, uh, which is kind of funny because I've actually, I think I've died to Pin maybe once as the boss who's, or as the lost, who's a very, very simple boss. How about Monstro is pretty much as easy as they come. And for beating him, I get range up, which is not the best. It's one of the most useless stats unless you get something that just straight up destroys your range. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if the secret room is down here. Nope. And there's the shop, so... If I find a key, I'm gonna go to the shop on this floor. Because uh, even if there isn't an item I want, uh, I've been taking the opportunity with the loss to, uh... to try to, uh... get uh, 999 coins in the donation machine. Hey, and there's your secret room. Three more cents. Let's see, in here we got heart container, which is absolutely worthless. Might go with the blue candle. I can donate five coins. And this will at least give me some extra attack power. And it, uh, it recharges in the room you're in. It's uh, one of the only items to actually do that. And it does pretty good damage, too. So my item room should be... Yep, there it is. Gonna wait for... Alright, I'll just throw that there. I think uh, donating 999 coins to the uh, the donation machine uh, gives you... Oh, that was bad. Uh, gives you the red candle, which is just like this. It just does more damage. And it already kind of eats their enemies, but it's, it's a pretty good item overall. When it hits, that is. Alright, so onto my item room, which usually on the... F Ooh, that's a very good item. Uh, I've seemed to have been finding it a lot recently, actually. I'm not going to bother with that room up there. I'm just going to move on to the next floor. Yeah, I've actually been finding this quite a bit as the Lost. I don't know why. But uh, it's, it's always good. Anything that'll up your damage is uh, very welcome. Alright, basement two. Uh, I usually don't. Yeah, it's not worth it. Oh, this isn't. I don't know if I've ever seen this room layout before. Even the even the most basic of enemies can be scary. I'm just gonna take my time here. Alright. Oops, I missed. That's okay, because at least that flame doesn't hurt you. 
would be unfortunate if it did. Also, on a side note, I'm playing on hard because to get the best unlock uh, for the Lost, you actually have to beat all the end bosses in Boss Rush on, uh, on hard difficulty. Oh, cool, and there's the item room. Hopefully I get something good. I've actually... Whoa! That's awesome. I've never actually seen that with the scythes. Oh man, that's cool. That's just a, you know, that's just a, a decent regular kind of item usually, but... Man. I don't know uh, how strong the extra... extra ones are, but... Man, that's gonna clutter up the screen though. That's... might be unfortunate on some bosses. I might take a hit. Yeah, I've never seen... oh, well. I've never seen that before. And this is why I record. Or why I have decided to start recording. I think my favorite item combination was uh, I got soy milk and Ipecac, which was absolutely hilarious. It's just this constant stream of explosions. You know, if I could get those two plus, uh, uh what's it called? The, uh, oh, Ningle is a little dangerous, but, uh, nothing too bad. And see, that blue candle just kind of chewed right through him. Oh good, size down, that's that's good. <laughs> Range down. Uh, so the cool thing about... Uh, oh, is that the demon baby? Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about... Ooh, should I go with the Necronomicon? I think this would help out versus bosses a little more. The cool thing about not having any health is you can take deals with the devil for free. Normally they cost uh, one permanent heart or uh, two permanent hearts in some cases. And also in some cases uh, some uh, non-permanent hearts, some spirit hearts if you are a character like the blue baby. But uh, so far this is shaping up to maybe have potential. Uh, the, the depths is pretty difficult. I've only ever gotten through it damageless once. Uh, ideally I would love to find uh, an item like the dead cat, which gives you nine lives. Man, these things just chew through enemies. This is this is great. Well, like I said, we'll see how long I can keep it up. Because, you know, anything can happen when you take one hit. Alright, bit of a dead end. Uh, I'm going to go up. And I like the, uh, the caves is a pretty decent, uh, one is the lost. Uh, if you make it to the caves, uh, unless just something unfortunate happens, there's a lot of rooms like this where there's a lot of open space in the middle, and the, uh, the lost starts with flight. So you, there's a lot of rooms that are just 100% safe, which is always, uh, always a pleasant thing in games like this. Uh, this room will not pose any threat. So yeah, ideally I would love to get the dead cat or uh, the holy mantle. Uh, but that's less likely now that I've taken a couple deals with the devil. Uh, I do not like that item, so I'm not going to pick it up. That one, I believe, makes enemies be attracted to your tears. And here's another 100% safe room. Uh, there's no chance those things can get to me there. So... Always a welcome thing. Uh, since I have an abundance of keys, I am going to open up the shop, because I have a couple coins I can donate. Actually, I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to go looking for the uh, the secret room, because... If I can find a decent amount of coins, the map would be very, very useful. Hmm. Uh, it's not looking very likely. I'm just going to go donate my money to the shop. Pity. The map would be uh, really helpful to have, just, you know, because you can tell which ones are dead ends. Uh, this game, I feel like the remake, uh, a lot more than the original, it's pretty easy to tell, like, you know, where the boss is going to be, or you know, all that kind of stuff. The husk is an easy boss. He'll be dead soon, I hope. 
And it's actually not the champion version, which can actually be a little annoying. Uh, he has very low health. And I get even more keys. And what do we got in here? Sister Maggie, I'll take it. Oh, whoa, okay. Almost died. Alright, on to the caves too. And it's a dark floor. For a while I would actually uh, play with this game with the gamma turned all the way up, just because... Uh, you know, if you're pl I used to play on hard mode when I first started because there are certain achievements for beating... Uh, I believe it's Mom's Heart on hard mode. It's not really for items that you can unlock in single player, they're for more co-op items. But uh, I still at least wanted to, to pop those achievements. That was kind of stupid. At least I didn't get hit. Um, but in playing on hard mode for a while, uh, what was the point I was trying to make? Uh, I'm just going to fly around that. Uh, I'm sure I had a point. I just don't remember it. Yo, okay. I'll probably watch this back and be like, oh, I'm so stupid for forgetting what I was trying to say. But things are going okay. This room could be... Oh yeah, playing with the gamma up because uh, curse floors are so prevalent on hard mode. So uh, I just eventually turned the gamma up because I was sick of super dark floors all the time. Because it's, it's very common, actually, on hard mode. So I just figured I'd save myself some trouble because, you know, it becomes a lot easier to see when you turn it all the way up. Okay, that could have been dangerous, but it wasn't. And we got another item room card is absolutely worthless, uh, but I'll take the, the trinket just because I didn't have one. It's not a very useful trinket. Like I said, I'll take it. Now I need to, uh, this might be a loadout I might consider, oh cool, range up. This might be a loadout I'd consider, uh, especially since I have the candle. Um, Yo. I uh, might actually consider attempting the boss rush if I make it that far. Just because, uh, you know, the candle can do great damage to enemies, to bosses especially. And it's, it's something that you will eventually have to beat if you're going for all the unlocks. So what this trinket does is every time you pick up a... Every time you pick up a coin, you will fart, which will poison enemies if they're close. I hate these enemies. Those are some of the worst enemies in the game. Ugh. Oh, didn't I already access the shop on this? Oh no, that was the last floor. These enemies are just annoying time wasters. Alright, let's see what's in here. Uh, nothing I like. Time to donate more to the shop. The good thing about recording videos as the Lost is... Uh, Gertie shouldn't... Is that Summoner Gertie? I think so. Shouldn't be so bad, especially since I have Penetrating Shot. I can probably just sit here and win. In fact, I only have one hand on my keyboard right now. But, um... Yeah, on some videos, like, it's it's always a good idea to, uh... You know, farm at the arcade or something. That's scary. Uh, oh, judgment. Oh, too bad I just blew all my money. Uh, Isaac's fork is useless. I'm kind of surprised it wasn't Krampus. Uh, I'll grab that just to see what it drops. Cool. The shovel's tempting, because it would let me skip a couple floors. Hmm. That's really tempting. So if I skip depths one, that puts me... I think I'm gonna do that. And I could skip the womb one as well. 
I'll come back here, let me... I probably should have waited until... Because I, I at least want the item on this floor. <laughs> like I really even need that. But I, pr I probably should have waited in case, you know, there's a, a really dangerous looking room. I can just pop it in immediately. Uh, so hopefully I don't find a dangerous room until, like, four rooms from now. I can always bomb my way out if I need to. So far it's been a tame. This is depths, right? Yeah. Because they have both the depths and the ca... Not the catacombs, but... Uh, the necropolis, which is... Seems to be a lot more dangerous than the depths. Okay, and why can't I hit that guy? Sorry, I'm just I'm just trying to play it as safe as I possibly can. Well, this these rooms are usually kind of annoying, just because these enemies you have to normally hit them from behind, but with penetrating shot, they ain't nothing. Okay, big dingles. Just gotta be careful. Just gotta keep my distance and shoot through those guys real quick. Easy. Uh, hopefully I find the... Okay, this room's free. Oh, this could be... That was bad. Well, I took the shovel, but I probably sh just should have used it. Well, that'll do it for this one. Uh, I guess check back uh, when I record more and hopefully get a little further than this. Thanks for watching.